so basically we know what is object right so to create a object literals we used to put a variable some whatever the name variable name and the object takes a curly brace inside it takes a name and the value so this is called an object right okay so we know this is an object so if i try to console log what i'm going to get i'm going to get the name value pairs of object in the x i i could get the name and value okay so we know object but what is constructor on this okay so when we creating some application we need to construct some object right so each and every for example you are having some uh, bike uh, bike selling marketplace okay so you want to know how many users are logged into your new application so each and every person are object here okay so one person is actually uh, creating some uh, new name and new email id new mobile number with your form in your website or web application form so it should be a new object of the person okay so each and every time the form will happen so we going to create a new object of that particular person so that is called an object okay the a real world example so i am going to create a person constructor here okay so before that i want to you know some some other things so for example uh, first we'll create a object yeah so function person person constructor okay c o n s t r u c c t o so person constructor so what is person constructor the person constructor uh, the constructor is basically a function we going to construct using a function okay i'm just going to name a function name called person if you using a constructor function you should want to use the first uh, the name of the first letter is capital okay remember that so it is very important because we want to specify it is function or function constructor okay if it is function no problem we can use a normal name if it is a function constructor we want to put a capital name in front of the name what the object name you are creating okay so here i'll pass some uh, the, now 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 the name is enough i think okay so here what i do i'll just put uh, first step i'll just show you console.log this okay i used to put console.log this inside the function remember inside the function i'm using console.log this this is basically a keyword in javascript what that this is going to return that's what we going to learn now okay so here i'll put from inside function so this is global scope right so in here i'm just going to put console.log this this is coming from from the uh from outside of function okay now i'm going to create a new this keyword const x equal to name okay the value is name then the name is name and the value is this okay now so basically this keyword is inside an object and not inside in the function and inside a function so we have a totally uh, three types of this keyword we are actually printing three types of this keyword in some particular set of rules okay so here the rule is inside the function here the rule is outside the function here inside the function okay so now i'll just uh, console dot log x dot name it's going to return that this okay here also it returning that this only i'll just command this out for now so first we check what the function is returning okay i'm just going to run the function here so person i'm run the function so we're coming back here it's returning something weird object here not a weird it's it, this is what how the javascript is working okay so i already told you that window is going to return a window object here only we going to uh, whatever the uh, variable you are creating in your uh, file it's all, it all going to store here only right so we used to put local storage all these things right so you see the local storage everything is coming from here so basically this is the global environment okay so here only the global scope here only we going to get all the things in our file so for example if you used to put get the local storage or a session storage whatever it basically inside this window object okay so if you can ask so what happen will i put in window now so we'll just try console.log window so if i try to console log the window what i'm going to get i'm going to get the same object you see that this is also returning pointing to the same object and window is also pointing to the same object okay 
so but we are not going to use window window and all so basically we can use like this way right so for example alert alert hey if you used to put alert hey what you going to get you going to get the alert okay why because alert is a part of window object you see there is a you see we have a alert method inside this object okay because that's why we are accessing the alert method in our of file okay so what if i put so i told you that inside the window object only this alert is sitting so i can also put like this way right so window dot alert hello if i used to put first it run the hi and the second step it run the hello you see window dot alert is also working because window is an object inside the method is called alert so window dot alert hello we passing the string so it's returning the hello so now this is this all this keyword is also pointing to the same object what is going to return so this dot alert hola okay so what is going to return we'll check this is also pointing to the window object only remember that okay first step hi okay second one hello third one why this is not actually we cannot get uh, from the this side thing wait on yeah hola because it's very fast okay we are getting hola also basically what you want to understand the alert window dot alert and this the all the three things are actually pointing to the window object only this is the main thing okay so one thing you want to understand inside the function if you console log that this or window it's going to point to the global object okay what if it is outside of the scope even though we know inside the function is also it's going to point to the global object so if you call the this here in the file also it's going to return the same object okay first i will just uh, console uh, come and command this out you see now we have only one console from outside of the function this this also returning the window object only okay i will just con uh, command this out okay what is going to happen inside the object that is the main concept okay now you see inside the function we try to console at this this return to the global object inside the console outside the function scope you we uh, console that this in a global scope so it also pointed to the window object but this scenario is different inside the object we have the name and the value of the name is this i console log x dot name the x contain this what it is going to return that's what we are going to look so if i come back here this is also returning yeah i put yeah okay so what i put i'll just put uh, this is returning this right console dot log wait on console dot log cannot put the wait on red so we used to put this here okay this name it should return what that uh, if even though if i put the function here what is going to return name is equal to function takes the console dot log this so if i try to put x dot name what i'm going to get yeah sorry i'll just put that a value there that's the problem okay so if you see here this returns an object the name console dot log this okay so you see one thing when i run the function when i have the method inside the object that method name is name okay i'll just keep it as a uh, get check this check this okay when i try to console log console dot log this inside the object what i'm going to get i'm not getting window object you see i'm getting the actual object the function method you see basically what it's happening here why this is wait one minute this is pointing to this one okay just one minute why this is happening like this um coming from object log this i will just copy this one um put this here so person const person and here we have the name age log this and console dot log coming from person dot object so if i try to put person dot 
uh, name, I'm going to get what Javit, right? So I get Javit. Okay. If I put console dot log age, what I'm going to get? I'm going to get twenty five. Okay. What if I'm going to log this method? What I'm going to get? So this is returning the actual object. You see, coming from person object. Okay. It's returning the actual object. When you try to console log this. when you try to console log this inside an object it is going to point to this object only not the window object or anything okay remember that it is very important okay now we understand this concept what is the difference between inside the function this outside the function this and inside this object for this yes sir okay so the step so yes, this is very important so i'll just take this out okay or else i will command this the bottom i'll just put down here here i'm going to create a function constructor function takes a person so function constructor function should the capital you want to use a capital letter name here i'm going to give this okay now this is going to point to the what then now this is going to point to the actual window object okay remember that i'm just using this dot name equal to name what i'm passing here this should be the value of here okay i will you will understand wait one minute i will explain you so now what i'm going to do const okay const x equal to i just pass new then uh, i'll just pass the new and we'll check new uh, wait so now this is a function now i'm going to pass a new person here okay the function i'm calling the function remember this i created a function that function takes a name here i'm calling const x i'm using new keyword to construct or some to construct something this function as an object okay i'm calling the person here when i console log the x here okay when i console log x here i'm going to get the person as an object remember this is not a function understand basically what happening when you put new in front of any function this function is not a function this function is an object okay that's all it is very simple i created the x variable i used to call the new keyword and i'm call the function here i'm calling the function here remember i'm calling this function here when i console log the x after that i get the person object not an function okay this is not an function this is a object now if it is object this keyword where going to point out the person is object okay this keyword is going to point the person object or the window object person object sir yeah so the person object so person now object. if i try to put this dot name i set num i set some new property to the person dot name equal to empty for now okay i set this dot this is basically a person dot wait i will just put like this person dot name is equal to empty when i console log the person what i'm going to get it's basically the empty right okay so wait wait this so you see now the I, we have the name okay we pointed to this object we set some name here but the value is empty so i want to pass the name here okay name now still it is going to be undefined because we are not passing anything into this parameter okay but if i pass javit here i'm going to get person name javit you see person name javit okay so this is basically a fun function constructor we're going to uh, look for some deep example and all but first of all you should want to understand basically inside the function we are having this dot name equal to name we created some new name as a name and the property should be the name what we are passing in a parameter function parameter okay when you used to put new in front of function this function is not a function it's going to convert to an object so that when you used to create a put a jar with here we can get out from a person object okay so this is called function constructor for example here i'm going to pass a date of birth also okay date of birth so the date of birth i what i'm going to do here this dot birthday i'm just setting up setting some new property to the object birth day is equal to new 
date date is an object now you now you should want to understand why we using date date is also a function okay when we used to put new in front of the date function we going to get as an object so that's why i told you object date is object in javascript date is object in javascript you remember that yes sir yes sir so here what we going to do here here we going to pass the day ob okay here we going to pass the dob now what it's going to happen now it is this this is the birthday it's going to create a new date of birth for us basically we pass the dob here okay so now what i can do i can go and pass 09 whatever the format is so 1997 like this if i save this coming back i get the date, date birthday here you see friday september 5 1997 i i didn't pass any time for that just the date of birth i'm passing okay to calculate the date in javascript that is kind of weird but don't worry this is a formula you should want to uh, remember this or you should want to copy and paste from the google okay i'm going to give the method here remember why i'm saying method here not a function why i'm saying method the javascript fundamental is in the function statement we saw function statement function expression immediate invoke function methods pro property methods whatever the function if the function is inside an object what we call function or method 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 so you so you understand right so if you creating some function inside a object that is not a function that's that's a function only but basically the term called a method okay so remember that they will, in interview they will ask you some kind of weird questions and kind of cross questions so that's what i'm uh, again and again i'm just uh, repeating you okay now here we have the this dot now we going to create a method here calculate age okay calculate 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 age is a method this method need a function and this function takes okay so here even though i don't know how this is working but uh, i'm just uh, this is kind of weird but don't worry this is the formula okay to get a date of birth const i'm going to give the diff as a variable date dot now from now okay from now i want to minus this dot birthday this dot birthday here dot get time okay const different difference what is the difference between date and now and the date dot uh, that my birthday okay so that is the difference right so here what i want to do const age date is equal to uh new date i want to pass the different uh, in a new date okay because i should need the actual time of that also I'm passing the different here because it's going to minus date dot now and the get time okay that is the difference so the age date we got the difference and return math dot round i don't need any uh, negative or decimal value that's what i'm using math dot uh, absolute age date dot get utc full here want to subtract minus 70 1970 okay that's why i told you even though we i don't know why they are actually subtracting this uh, so this is kind of formula remember this so when you get into some kind of good project we don't use these kinds of uh, uh, things and all you always use momentum js as a package okay or a library so for date calculation kind of things so for now just understand how to this method is working okay we get that difference between date dot down and when i birth then when i born then we then we got the age date so we, we need get the specific date of the difference so we need to pass as a new object here so we passing the difference and it's return date age date dot get utc full here or like uh, how many year happened in the difference between the now and the difference uh, until from now okay i want to minus that 1970 so if i save that what i'm going to do i'm going to use is a javit here the object name is javit i pass the javit here the name okay then if i console log the javi here i'm going to get an object right so you see the person name as an object we have a calculate age as a method inside we have some functionality inside that so now i can get javi dot name what i'm going to get it is an object 
so javit is an object we going to have the name inside the javit object you going to have the value what value you pass to the parameter that is called javit so now it's going to return what javit so what i'm going to get if i put calculate age calculate age i'm going to get uh, sorry this is a function method so we want to pass the parenthesis here i'm going to get 25 you see javit also get and 25 also get my age is 25 so now we get basically the proper uh, way right javit and 25 so it is good but here you don't want to understand these kinds of logic and all this is basically kind of formula i i just recognize like that way only just remember this is the way how to construct the object okay so now if you want to create a new object using as a name of jagan you can use to put new person you can call the person name as a jagan and the date of birth i'll just pass some value here okay just pass like this so if i try to put instead of javit instead i am going to call jagan here jagan dot name and jagavita jagan dot calculated you see the we get the name of jagan and the age of jagan okay so this is difference between the properties and the methods so this is property we going to set this is going to point to the person and we set new property to the object and passing the name here so we passing the name here we going it's going to set here inside the function constructor then the birthday we set some birthday we get the difference between date dot now and the get dot uh, actual when i born okay we calculate that using kind of some weird calculation so we get the date here okay so if you want uh, how to get a js birthday if i do this you see they, they basically they do like this one day okay the difference between you see the minus 1997 even though we do i it is seriously i don't know how this is working so we have to do like this way only so this is kind you can if you research this you can get this code anywhere in a chrome or a google so don't worry about that just remember between the properties and methods okay so this is function constructor we are creating a function constructor we are using a new keyword to construct our the function as a object and we pass some property to that object that's it okay now built in constructor okay what is built in constructor so we saw um, like primitive types what are the primitive types anyone explain me how many data types we have in a javascript just uh, explain anyone data types in the fundamental we saw the data types right string numbers boolean null undefined symbols array object date these are the data types you understand yes sir yeah so these data types has a string num a number boolean null this is this is very important okay remember this if you don't know the data type also it is very hard to track okay so remember this so what is built in constructor okay so you know if it is a constructor there is a new keyword in front of function right so that is called a constructor i'm just going to create a name one okay name one is equal to javit okay so this is what what data type it is string string right so if i console log the name one here what i'm going to get i'm going to get the javit. i want to change the file name So I get Javit, right? Because it is a string. Okay. So what is function constructor then, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going. We we are not going to create the string using like this way in our future. But I you just want to know what is actually okay. You, you see, I'm using new in front of string. Okay, S T R I N G string. If I, I'm not passing any string into that, I'll just going to console log the name too. We'll check what it's going to return. It's returning what? Empty. empty uh, object function oh, sorry right. object. so this is empty object why this is empty object basically we using a new keyword in front of the string function now the string function constructor convert that function into an object okay so i can pass a yeah, string here jagan okay so javit jagan if i try to come back here i can see this j a g a n we are not going to we, this is also one type of creating a string but we are not going to use this kind of uh, syntax basically why means so we can create using a string using uh, string literals 
But if you try to put new string, new number, new boolean like that way, what is going to happen? It's going to take a lot of memory in your machine. It's going to load it. It 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 normally takes a lot of time to load the application, right? So the good performance of application is uh, how much the code you want to reduce. That that is the basic concept. Okay. So for example, here I'll just put console dot log type of name one. If I put type of name one, what I'm going to get? The type. What is the type of name one? String. String. So I get string, right? So I get the string. Okay. Now what is the type of name two then? Name two is also string, sir. How it? How could be a string? This is an object, right? It is an object. Yeah. So if I come back here, I can get the object only, right? Because we are. This is an object. That's what I'm saying. This is a primitive type. Okay. This is a what? It's going to return a one value. If you use new keyword in any front of anything, it could be an object. Remember that. Okay. Whatever the case, if you if you saw this new keyword in anything in front of that function name, it could be what the object. Okay. Object. So now the type is object. So okay. Now if name two is triple equal to remember what the triple equal to going to look only the value or the data type also data type also sir. okay the data type also here i'm going to pass jagan the, the value is pro the value is correct okay here remember that console dot log here i'm going to put yes if it is equal to jagan i want to get yes basically it is equal to jagan only the value not the data type remember else console dot log no now what do you think guys going to print in a console is it going to print yes or no yes how could be is yes this value is pro right the value j a g a n is okay but the type is different right we are we are actually checking the string okay. here yeah, yeah yeah so it's going to return no right so if i come back here i get no but if i used to put name one here the value now i'll change this to javed javed yes it will return yes okay so now the value also same and the type also same what i'm going to get yes or no yes yes, yes. Yes, right. So I get yes. So now we understand the difference between the constructor and the string primitive types and all. Okay, this is also string, but this is not the type is not a string. Okay, the type is what? Object. Object. That's all. Okay. So now I'll just command this out. Uh, I'll just leave like this. So the second step, numbers, built-in constructor number. So how the number is going to work? Const num one is equal to Five. Console dot log. Num one. What is the type? Integer. Number right. Five. So I'm going to get the five. If I try to console log the type of number one, what I'm going to get? Integer. Number or string or boolean? What? Number. Number right. So if I get, I get get the number. Okay. What if I put number two? It's like this way. New uh, number inside. I'm going to pass fifty-five. Object. Now Object. I get number here. I want to put the number two here. Number two and the type of number two. Now I'm going to get the object. Okay. Object. This is the difference thing between that uh, string and numbers. So then the boolean we have the boolean. So const bool one equal to true. But try to console log the bool one and the type of bool one. What is the type of that? What is the type? Bool one type. Boolean or what? Number or string? Boolean, boolean. So I can get true and boolean. Okay. What if I put Boolean, like this way, using function constructor. New boolean takes a false. Here I'm going to pass a false. Type uh, two. Type of boolean two. I'm going to get what object. 
Okay, so this is object. Okay, we are not going to use this kinds of syntax, but you should want to understand these things and all. So I'm just going to create a function also. So the function so const get some one equal to equal to a function. This function takes x and y. Okay, I'm going to return the function x plus y. Okay, so now if I try to put console dot log get some one five five what the answer i'm going to get 10 10 right so i get 10 here okay that's cool now i'll just can take this console out here okay what is the type of function Effect. number not a number function. function sorry number okay because that is returning a number right basically this yeah. the function returns a number so we get the number okay but one thing you want to understand now, I'm going to create this function using a new keyword because it is going to be weird, but we are not going to use anything like that. So just uh, of, of this one here, I'm going to put const get some two, okay, is equal to new function. Remember, I'm using new, new in front of, uh, okay, this is an object. I want to pass x, this, this syntax would be weird, but don't worry. Here I want to pass return five plus five. Okay, now if I try to console log the. We get the object. Uh, I think uh, we are not gonna want to. Yeah, we'll just take this out. We don't need that. If you come back here, I'll get the 10 basically. Even though I don't want to pass anything here, I think. No, no, no. Here I'll just put X and Y. I want to pass 10, 10. Support what I'm going to get 20. Okay. So this 20. is a function constructor. Okay. Remember that. So this is a function constructor. Uh, this is an object, not an actual function type. Remember. So now I'm going to create an object. We already know how the object would be. So I'm going to create Java. Sorry. We'll give person one is equal to name Javi. So what I'm going to get when I console log, it's going to get person as an object or string or number what? It is an object, right? Object. So I'm going to get the object. Okay. That's cool. Now I'm going to create an object person to using new new object takes a name of Jagan. So try to console log the person to, I get the same thing. Okay. So there is a two way we can use this way also, but more 99, but not hundred percent. We're going to create like this one. We are not going to use this syntax, but the both are same. Both are object only. Okay. So remember, and also we have array. Array takes const array one is equal to one, two, no. one, two, three, four, five. So what it is the data type? This object array, array or function, what it is? Array. Array. So if I console log, what I'm going to get? I get a array. Okay. I'll just stop this console. Now I can able to create using a new also here. In front of that array, I'll just put new array, the function curly brace. Sorry, the parenthesis. So this name should be different. This one is array2. This one is array2. So try to come back here. I get the same thing. Okay. So this is the difference between the literals and the built-in constructor. Okay. That's what I name called built-in constructor. Remember this. We're not going to use anywhere the syntax, but you should want to understand what is basically how it's working. Okay. So this is the step. Okay. So the second step, um, what is like a uh, prototype? Okay. The prototype you want to learn what is because prototype is very important because, uh, some other functions or uh, some other programming languages are kind of uh, object oriented, right? Kind of, uh, how they say, like, uh, I don't know what is the mean. So this, this programming is different. So prototype in JavaScript. Every object in JavaScript has built-in properties, which is called prototype. Okay. Remember 
built in property which is called prototype the prototype it is a, itself an object so the prototype will have its own prototype making what's a prototype chain remember the chain keyword the chain ends when we reach a prototype that has null of for its own property if there is nothing to find it's return null okay so that time the uh, chain will in, end up okay so that's the reason i will explain you that i know that is very difficult to understand i'm just going to create the same uh, person constructor here c o n s t r u c t o r okay so what i told uh, i'll just tell you that if you creating a constructor constructor you should want to keep that in a capital so here i'm going to pass a first name last name and d o b okay date of birth here this dot first name is equal to first name what i'm going to pass then this dot last name is equal to last name then this dot birthday i'm just going to copy this so uh, this copy this function from here okay I'll just paste it here. This dot calculate age is could be a function. Okay, so here I want to create the birthday also. This dot birthday is equal to D O B. Sorry, new date D O B. Because we need a date date of D O B. Okay, so now everything is fine, right? So we created a function constructor. It contains of three property. One is first name, last name, and date of birth. So it has some calculate age method also. so i can able to create a person now right so here for example if i create a javed is equal to for example i'll put uh, yeah javed is equal to new if i put new in front of the function constructor that is not a function it going to convert to as an what object jagan okay then javed after that i want to pass i'll just pass some different uh, i don't know i'm i don't know what the age is going to give but i'll just pass something okay so javit so if i console dot log javit what i'm going to get what i'm going to get if i console log the javit jagan javit javit it's kind of object right i'm going yes, to get sir. an object okay if i try to put uh, javit here if i try to put the javit uh, as an object so coming back here i yeah, i'll change i want to change the file name dot slash okay so i get the person object with the name of jagan and uh, everything okay so now i can create a new person object here it's called jagan i uh, will create a john here because the both name uh, this one is john so this one should be 86 okay okay now I'll, and also i created a john so we come back here now we have two object one is jagan and one another one is ja john that's cool so when you, one thing you want to notice you see each and every object contains the calculate age you see calculate age calculate age. okay if we have only a two uh, person in our object our function constructor that is okay but if we have kind of 1 million of users how it could be uh, like very uh, how do i say that uh, it's not a good idea right we we are actually ha having a copy of function each and every object so there is this is not a good idea it's going to slow down your application performance to, to do that you see after the object complete we have the prototype as a method you see there is a prototype what is that prototype so every object going to contain the prototype only for the object remember only for the object what is the constructor name the constructor name is the person why because we gave the name the person constructor right the person so the constructor is person it takes a first name last name dob and it has a prototype you see there is a constructor has own properties there is a lot of prototype here okay so now what i'm going to do instead of keeping all the function the method inside to the single object i'm going to move that to the person prototype so what i will i will explain you so here 
to move that to the person prototype what i want to do so calculate age so person dot prototype first i will show you what the prototype is returning okay we will put console dot log here console dot log person dot prototype what i'm going to get so come back i get the object you see i get the object constructor is a uh, constructor object so the when i when i console log the person is an object dot prototype is an object i can able to set some function method into that object okay so prototype is basically an object remember that pro person dot prototype dot calculate age is equal to function what is the function i'm just going to copy all this function from here i'll just make sure to command this out i'll just going to pass it here calculate age okay now if i save this here i can get the jagan a uh, javit jagan the person so come back here i cannot able to see the calculate age method inside the object so where it goes that's the second question if i open this prototype i can see the calculate age here now the now the prototype have access to the calculate age to this person object each and everything now you can create a thousand or million object this is not going to contain each and every time the function is not going to copy it's going to have only the this person prototype this is a efficient way of coding okay so we are, we want to move all the methods to the prototype now we can able to access javit dot for example here we will put console dot log javit dot calculate age what it's going to return it's going to return the actual person age if i come back here i get 26 okay so again if i put like this this name is john the john property is something different remember the john property is something different okay the a date is different it's going to return 36 you see so whenever we creating a method in a function constructor we are not going to keep all the function inside this function the methods inside this function constructor we going to move all this along with the prototype okay person dot prototype dot calculate age equal to function and the logic is going to be here and this calculate age is going to access all the object what you are going to create okay for example what if i want to add some new property to it for example here i can create a person dot prototype in the prototype i'm going to create a get full name is equal to function this function is going to return okay return template strings this dot first name then this dot last name if i put that person dot prototype get full name equal to function return this dot first name and this dot last name what i'm going to get if i try to console log this get full name what i'm going to get what i'm going to get in the return value if i call javit get full name the same thing i can get what i'm going to get what the function is what this method is going to return what is going to return first name and last name together first one is jagan javit and second one is john do so if i save this if i come back here i can see the jagan javit john do even though this function is not sitting into the person object but this is sitting inside the person prototype every object going to have the prototype remember that if each and every function constructor is going to have a prototype we going to move all the method to this prototype okay what is the prototype of prototype for example here we have prototype and we have another prototype okay we we'll console log and see console dot log proto which one person person like this we do person or oh, sorry uh, we know javit dot prototype ja we will see javit prototype what i'm going to get uh, actually i'm going to get the okay i want to give the person here sorry person person dot prototype what i get i get the calculate age and get the uh, get full name okay this is for the first layer of prototype we set every uh, method into the first layer what is the prototype of prototype 
we go it is kind of chain okay one two it's kind of object okay inside this prototype object we have another object if i save this what i'm going to get i'm going to get undefined because this is the last prototype okay even though i can set some new property to it for example if i i am going to set some new thing here the function takes console.log yes this prototype name i'm going to give dot test is equal to function okay now you see uh, cannot set the okay okay we set that undefined right we cannot get that okay 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 we cannot do that basically because that return undefined right so now we understand how this prototype is working yes so prototype is a kind of index where we can put our own function yeah only the methods we going to push or inside to this uh, prototype not the properties mm -hmm. okay only okay. the methods not the properties so every uh, every person has have the own property right so the even each and every person going to have the calculate age each and every person going to have the get full name so we don't want to keep all the methods inside to the person object because it's going to make new copy new copy new copy like that instead of that we move all these things to the prototype it's going to have a uh, one, only one uh, method if you call that it's it's going to check here if it's not found here what it's going to do it's going to check for the prototype if it is found here then it's return that uh, calculate age what the thing okay so that's how this is called a prototype chain if it's going to check if it's not found it's going to check here that's all okay so i think today class is good uh we'll okay. stop here okay uh tomorrow we'll get into the prototype inheritance and object create uh, es6 and kind of things so i'll just put my push my code into github go and uh, get from there and stop oh just go and try it out just uh, look for some w3 documentation learn by yourself if you have any doubt i will help you okay first you just go and take a look okay i'll just uh, i almost cover everything just go and take a look up to uh, what is the proto so here i'll just push my code Okay, you go and check your code. Okay, the GitHub code, then pull it from there and work it out. Okay, just try to understand this uh, object. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, shall we close? Yes, sir. Okay, thank yes, you. Sir. Yeah. Thank okay. you.